I remember everything, Jimmy. Every moment. Every breath. Every utterance. Every touch. Everything. I remember it physically, as though I could feel her. The memories are tangible. Does that make sense to you? But do you know what I remember most of all? Out of everything? I remember that I never said goodbye to her. I just buttoned up her coat and kissed her on the head and told her that dinner would be ready before too long so she wouldn't go too far away. That's what I remember most of all, Jimmy. I won't ever forget that. It was cowardly of you to leave. I had to deal with everything, Jimmy, on my own. I had to deal with packing her clothes away. I had to throw out some of her stuff. I wanted to keep it up. It was just ridiculous. I wanted to keep her library cards. Letters from her school. I had to face up to the fact that it couldn't happen. On my own, I got all of her things that I couldn't keep or sell into a box. I took them to a skip. And I threw them away and you weren't there. You weren't there, Jimmy. I find it hard to forgive you for that. And I had to deal with the letters from her school friends and their visits, cards and gifts. And I had to thank them and not break down and kiss their faces and scream at or scream at them. Why, why couldn't it be you? because they were seven years old. And that would have been irrational, unfair, and stupid. I had to face their parents and everybody. Her teachers, her swimming teacher. I had to go and tell her swimming teacher that she wouldn't be coming to classes anymore because she was dead, Jimmy. She was dead. And I had to do it all on my own. It was hard and it wasn't fair. So no, I don't care. I don't care what you had to effing deal with. I packed away all of her things, saw her buried properly, and I went back to work. I carried on, Jimmy. I met Andrew and he looked after me so gently. The kind of gentleness that you couldn't understand. And you expect to come back into my life and that everything will be all right and that I will hear you out and forgive you so that you can carry on for clear effing conscience? Well, you're wrong, Jimmy. You are so bloody wrong. You wouldn't even believe it.